got a Giallo review. Uh, finally broke open the Mondo Macabre uh, Blu-ray of a lizard and a woman's skin. This is a Lucho Fulci Giallo made in 1971. And it's probably, in my opinion, one of the best Giallos I've ever seen. I'm a big, I'm probably prejudiced, though, because I really like everything Lucio Fulci does. Um, fascinating movie. It's kind of a psychedelic trip through this uh, this woman's uh, dreams as she has a dream that she's killed a neighbor that's holding all these sex orgies. Um and I guess the question is, really, in the movie, did she do it or did someone set her up, that type of thing? And it's all done in some crazy dream sequences and uh, very, very 1971. And it, and then you throw the um, kind of the Euro trash elements thrown in there with Lucio Fulci's style. And it, it's a really a wild ride. Um, there's a scene in this where... Um, one of the dream sequences, she walks in in this room that's um, these dogs are kind of hanging from a uh, hanging up on a on a bed frame or something like that, and they're cut open, and you can see all their internal organs and things, and their heart beating and things like that. And uh, apparently, the uh, Carlo Rambaldi, the special effects. Uh, director of the film had to go to court to prevent uh, Lucio Fulci from being arrested and prosecuted for killing animals. Uh, it's hard to believe when you see the movie and watch that scene now, today, that there's any reasonable person that could sit, look at that scene and think, well, those are real dogs, you know? Uh, ludicrous. But it's apparently one of the first time in history, beyond, besides the cannibal uh, it's for the first time in history that uh, a director was potentially prosecuted for that type of thing. Of course, later on, you've got the um, cannibal holocaust and things like that. But, um, this is a, really a great giallo, and um, I highly recommend it. This release doesn't, um, unfortunately, it doesn't have any um, alternative internal artwork. It's all blank. But um, it does have some hellacious special features. Uh, it's got a 30-minute, one of the best I've ever seen, 30-minute interviews with Lucio Fulci uh, that I found was the most enlightening sit-down interview with Lucio Fulci that I've ever, ever seen. And it, it really gives you a, a good feel for his opinion on uh, the state of horror movies and Italian horror movies and directors in general. He talks a lot about um, his peers, that being Dario Argento and uh, Mario Bava <coughs> at the time he made this film. Um, it's also got an audio commentary track, which was okay. I mean, it's not particularly enlightening. The two guys that were covering the movie were more like fans than really anything informational. Uh, and then it's got another 30-minute overview from Stephen Thrower, uh, who's written a bunch of books on uh, horror movies and Giallo, and he's a big he's a big Jess Fra Franco fan. Uh, I found that an interesting 30-minute look at uh, Lucio's career, and this movie in particular, his opinions on it were very enlightening. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is, um, if you don't have this, if you haven't picked this up and you like giallos, you, you gotta have this in your collection, I think. So, yeah, thanks for watching. That's an, that's another eight, that's an eight out of ten, uh, in my opinion. So, thanks for watching.